Hey everyone, welcome back into a Thursday night edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you once again talking about the weather and today it was a beautiful day across the interior and quite a bit warmer when you get sunshine like that. We had uh, some nice warm temperatures and we're looking at this pattern to continue for one more day. Then after that, maybe a little better chance of seeing a, a chance maybe of some rain and snow. We'll talk about that later on. Another great sunset. This one's set in by Glenn Simpson, setting sun through the branches. You can see the branches of the trees there. Really uh, a maze of uh, branches there. And as always, if you have a photograph that you want to share, well, please send it to photos at ktbf11.com. Your numbers, 48 for the high today. How about that? The low last night, 22. The record high, 59 in 1969. But look at that record low, 15 below in 1907. That's kind of scary. Sunrise and sunset, about 9 hours and 46 minutes, a loss of 6 minutes from yesterday. Our satellite and radar showing a lot more moisture coming up from the south, and some of this may work its way through the Alaska Range by tomorrow night, giving us a chance of some precipitation. It is raining already over southeast Alaska. As you can see here, we're looking at uh, some showers moving in across the Ketchikan area, not quite to the uh, Juneau area. Some showers also are reported around the Anchorage Bowl and it is raining at Kodiak Island, 45 degrees there, 48 and partly cloudy at Cold Bay. And up and down the West Coast, temperatures uh, very different to 46 at Bethel, but 34 at Nome. Barrow 25 and Fort Yukon 30. Lower 48 weather over the Pacific Northwest. It's warmed up in Seattle, 70 degrees there. Nice day in San Francisco. Not quite 100 degree readings for Phoenix, uh, Los, Am Las Vegas. There's a pretty warm day across the Dallas-Fort Worth area once again, but cool down in Denver, only 66 degrees, Minneapolis 61. Over the East Coast, a little bit of uh, cooler temperatures also, New York and Washington, D.C., thunderstorms off the coast of uh, Georgia and the Florida area, and then across the rest of the uh, country looking at uh, clear to partly cloudy skies. On the satellite radar, you can see a little better frontal boundary moving across the Great Lakes, bringing some more showers in there. There's the thunderstorms across the Florida Peninsula. And out to the west, we have quite a bit of activity going on with an upper level low pressure system here bringing lots of widespread showers and thunderstorms. And in fact, some of those are going to continue to bring the possibility of localized flooding and gusty winds across much of this area here, including the Las Vegas area and also Phoenix and the jet stream once again uh, calling for a big bubble in the atmosphere, uh, helping to bring more warm air across the central plains. There's the showers and thunderstorms and over the uh, eastern half of the country, some cooler temperatures and a possibility of some snow in the forecast. Well, our, once again, it's time for our kids' weather. And all this week, we've been talking with the kids from Crawford Elementary School. But tonight, here's the teacher with an interesting, ooh, chilly fact. My name is Mrs. Lewis, and this is my sixth grade class here at Crawford Elementary School. And we have a weather fact to share with you. Class, did you know that the lowest temperature ever recorded in the world was in Antarctica on July 21st, 1983? The thermometer dropped to 128 degrees below zero. Whoa! As always, they're amazed. Again, thanks to Mom McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather. And next week, we'll have the kids from Denali Elementary here to visit with us. All right, your forecast for the northern sections of Alaska tomorrow. Afternoon snow showers for Barrow, partly cloudy for Nome, and decreasing clouds for Fort Yukon. While here in the interior, looking at increasing clouds in the Fairbanks and Healy areas, with scattered showers possible in Delta Junction. Over southeast Alaska, again, more rain in the forecast. Cloudy skies at Juneau, some showers for Ketchikan. Over the southwest part of the state, looking at cloudy skies in Bethel, chance of rain for Cold Bay, and rain also expected at Kodiak Island. And down over the south central regions, periods of rain across the entire region with temperatures only in the mid to upper 40s. And it is a Thursday night, which means it's time for our road conditions brought to you by Jose Body and Paint and Mongold Insurance on the Dalton Elliott Highway. There's some snow on the road, otherwise dry conditions. Well, on the Steese and Richardson highways, gusty winds are at the higher elevations and a lot of construction and equipment still on the Richardson highway. Keep that in mind. The same can be said for the parks area. Uh, areas of construction are causing some delays, but otherwise dry pavement. And our forecast for the remainder of the night for the Fairbanks area, clear skies, cold temperatures, and a pretty good chance for seeing some auroras. We're at a high level, number five of the category. That's pretty high, 20 degrees the overnight low. Tomorrow's forecast, increasing clouds with showers possibly later on tomorrow night. 
and the five day outlook calling for maybe some rain and snow on Saturday. Otherwise, cloudy skies across the board there with temperatures again very chilly. Uh, daytime highs will once again be near 40 degrees, a little warmer on Sunday, but then cooling off again by Tuesday and Wednesday. And overnight lows dropping down to around 20 degrees by Tuesday and Wednesday also.